So yesterday, 30th of April, the Court of Appeal awarded costs against Jim O'Doherty and John Waters in their challenge to the state's introduction of legislation and regulations to deal with the coronavirus pandemic. I've done a video about the High Court Judicial Review application by O'Doherty and Waters and they lost the costs decision there, so the costs were awarded against them. They then appealed that High Court decision to the Court of Appeal and they lost the Court of Appeal decision as well. But yesterday the uh, Court of Appeal issued their decision in relation to the question of costs and essentially they awarded costs against O'Doherty and Waters and to the state and the other parties in the case. So were the arguments that the Court of Appeal uh, looked at from O'Doherty and Waters were not impressive, to put it mildly. The Court of Appeal said, I am also not impressed with the argument that because the appellants conducted this litigation as litigants in person, that the respondents could take comfort from the fact that they were not at risk of an adverse order as the costs. In fact, the respondents and notice parties had to devote time and resources to dealing with the case and it would be quite unjust if the ordinary rule as to costs did not apply. And just to be clear, the ordinary rule as to costs is that costs follow the event. In other words, winner takes all. In other words, loser pays their own costs and the costs for the winner. You'll see also there from that quotation from the decision of the Court of Appeal that uh, paragraph six, the court says, neither am I persuaded by the public interest exception arguments. The proceedings, while obviously relating to issues of great importance, did not involve issues of any real legal novelty and certainly did not involve the development of jurisprudence in that regard. There is a distinction to, to be drawn between proceedings that would be of interest to the public or a section of the public and proceedings that can be genuinely regarded as public interest proceedings. I do not believe that the present proceedings can properly be regarded as falling within the category of public interest proceedings. Essentially, this challenge by authority and waters was held by the High Court to be without merit. And any challenge that is held to be without merit is going to have a very difficult time later on winning the argument as to costs. So in this case, costs are awarded against O'Doherty and Waters, and it will be interesting to see if the state and the other parties in this case, including the Attorney General and so on, go after O'Doherty and Waters for the costs as they are entitled to do. It will be a very straightforward debt collection matter if the state is minded to do so. It remains to be seen if that's the case or not. There is talk, I understand, I think I saw it on Twitter last night, that they intend now going to the Supreme Court. But you would have to wonder why or on what basis they will be going to the Supreme Court with a case that has been held to be essentially without merit in both the High Court and in the Court of Appeal. Anyway, it's their money, uh, or is it their money? I mean, is the question of costs being awarded against them of any real practical effect? Is it the taxpayer ultimately that's going to be picking up the tab? Because if the state doesn't go after them for the costs, well then ultimately it's the ordinary taxpayer who is paying taxes who's going to be at the loss because clearly the state and the respondents and the other parties in these proceedings do have to deal with the proceedings and do have to incur costs and clearly getting orders for costs if they're of no practical benefit, if they cannot be implemented, are useless. And poor old Joe Schmo and Joe Public and Patricia Public is picking up the tab for these cases, these challenges that are or have been described without merit as being without merit. Anyway, I hope you'll find the video useful and I hope you might consider the whole question of costs if you do think about bringing legal proceedings. It's something that most people will be concerned about. Most people do have to weigh up 
the prospects of success and the potential cost outcome and so on. But O'Doherty and Waters seem to be oblivious to these concerns. Anyway, hope you find the video useful.